Today we're going to travel through the state of Maryland. Maryland was the seventh state to join the United States. It is one of the 13 original colonies. It became a state on April 28, 1788. You might be wondering, where is Maryland? Maryland is located in the center of the eastern seaboard of the United States. Maryland's bordering states are Pennsylvania to the north, the Atlantic Ocean and Delaware to the east, West Virginia to the west, and Virginia to the south. Did you know? Fun facts. In 1902, Maryland became the first state to enact workmen's compensation laws. Baseball legend George Herman Babe Ruth was born in Baltimore on February 6, 1895. While ponies can be found roaming the beaches of Estiguia Island off the coast of eastern Maryland. Maryland leads the U.S. in production of blue crabs and soft clams. Charles Mason and Jeremiah Dixon surveyed the Mason-Dixon Line, Maryland's northern boundary, between 1763 and 1767 to help resolve a century-long border dispute between Maryland, Pennsylvania, and Delaware. Dr. Florence Rena Sabian of John Hopkins School of Medicine in Baltimore became the first female professor of medicine in 1901. Maryland has the world's oldest living people. According to the State Board of Elections, there are 48 people living in the state or who are 114 years or older. Founded in 1727 by William Parks, the Maryland Gazette is the oldest continuously published newspaper in the country. The first dental school in the country opened at the University of Maryland. With the help of our trusty travel guide, we had mapped out an itinerary of the things we wanted to do in Maryland. The first stop was to the state capital that is located in Annapolis, Maryland. Check out their state flag. Though the state doesn't have any official state colors, their flag contains red, gold, black, and white. What a unique flag. The state was established on April 28, 1788. That was 235 years ago. Woo, that was a long time ago. While we were in the state capitol, we saw the state seal. We also saw a display of their state quarter and were able to purchase some for our collection. While strolling through the state capitol, we learned that the state motto is Fadia Mascia Paroli Femina, loosely translated manly deeds, womanly words, though now commonly expressed as strong deeds, gentle words. We also learned that the state's origin came from Maryland being named to honor Queen Henrietta Maria, the wife of England's King Charles I. And finally, we learned that the state nickname is the Old State Line. We also saw the state song on display. The song is from the nine stanza poem that was written by a native of Maryland, James Ryder Randall in 1861. It is set to the traditional tune of Old Tannenbaum. Mom read the first verse to us. The verse says, The Despot's Hill is on the shore, Maryland. His torch is at thy temple door, Maryland. Avenge the patriotic gore that flecked the streets of Baltimore, and be the battle queen of your Maryland, my Maryland. There are eight other verses, but I'll let you read those for yourself. After we left the state capitol, the first place we planned on our itinerary was to visit the Susquehanna State Park, where we had a picnic lunch. While we were there, we hiked and checked out the beautiful waterfall. We ate lunch under the Maryland State tree, the White Oak. It was a beautiful, big, shady tree. Next, we went hiking and discovered some of the state flowers, the Black-Eyed Susans. They were beautiful. Dad told us to be on the lookout for some of the state's animals. My sister spotted the state insect, a Baltimore checker spot butterfly, on some of the black-eyed Susans. When we were walking along a creek, my brother found the state reptile, a diamond terrapin turtle. The pattern on its back looks like diamonds. It was so cute. 
We wanted to take it home with us, but Dad said no. It needed to stay in its natural habitat. Dad brought along his binoculars and he spotted the state bird. It was in a nearby tree, a Baltimore Oriole. It is a beautiful bird. When we were finished walking or were ready to leave, we met a couple who was getting out of their motor home to walk their dog. We found out that it was a steak dog, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. The couple also told us that they had a cat in their motor home and they got it out and let us see it. It was a steak cat. It was a calico cat. Both animals were beautiful animals and we were glad they let us visit with them and their pets. After we left the park, we passed a horse ranch that had some of the state horses, thoroughbred horses. They were beautiful animals. Next on our itinerary was to visit some of the state landmarks. The first landmark we stopped at was the Maryland State House, located in Annapolis, Maryland. It was the first original capital of the United States. It was built from November 26, 1783 to August 13, 1784. The building is still in use today. Many important events have occurred in the Maryland State House. Next, we traveled to Fort McHenry, located in Baltimore, Maryland. What an awesome place. We had a park ranger give us a guided tour. We learned that the fort was best known for its role in the War of 1812 when it successfully defended Baltimore Harbor from an attack by the British Navy from Chesapeake Bay on September 13th through 14th in 1814. It was an awesome place to visit. While we were still in Baltimore, we went to visit the Edgar Allan Poe Home Museum and Gravesite. Edgar Allan Poe House is a National Historic Landmark it was fun learning what life was like for the famous author during his life and the time period that he lived in. At school, my brother had to learn an Edgar Allan Poe poem, The Raven. So he read the poem to us, spooky poem. The next day, we started the day out by visiting the Antietam National Battlefield. Antietam National Battlefield is a National Park Service protected area along Antietam Creek in Sharpsburg, Washington County, Northwestern Maryland. It commemorates the American Civil War Battle of Antietam that occurred on September 17, 1862. We went on a guided tour of the battlefield where we learned the history of the battle there. We saw lots of monuments and got to check out some of the old cannons that were used during the battle. My siblings and I imagine what it would have been like to be there during the battle. After we left the park, we went to visit the Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad Museum located in Church Creek, Maryland. Our home had read many books about Harriet Tubman and was intrigued to visit the museum where we learned about her life. We had a story read to us by a park ranger heard and sang blues and gospel songs, and learned all about the amazing life and legacy of Harriet Tubman. The following day, Mom wanted us to visit the state theaters for the arts, so our first stop was to visit the State Summer Theater, the Olney Theater Center, located in Olney, Maryland. We were privileged to get to see a performance there, and our family truly enjoyed it. After we left the theater, we stopped at a local diner and had lunch. For dessert, we enjoyed some of the state dessert, Smith Island Cake. It was delicious. We each had a glass of a state drink, a tall glass of milk, and it tasted great with our cake. That night, Mom had made reservations for us to see a play at the State Theater Center Stage, located in Hagerstown, Maryland. We certainly enjoyed the play and the experience of visiting such a beautiful place. The next morning, Dad planned a fun experience for our family at the National Aquarium in Baltimore, Maryland. We loved seeing all the aquatic animals and seeing the exhibits of them in their natural habitats. At the aquarium, we learned that the state fish is the rock fish. These fish can grow from small to great in size, and the fishermen in the area love to fish for them. 
We also learned that the state crustacean is the blue crab. The tour guide at the aquarium showed us these awesome animals. We learned that they are in great demand and are caught and sold to seafood restaurants around the state. After we left the aquarium, we walked down the waterfront and marina and checked out some of the beautiful boats there. We were especially interested in the state boat, the skipjack boat. Dad took us to a boat rental where the pilot took us out on a guided tour of the coastal areas of Baltimore. It was a great experience. After we left the aquarium and marina, we left the city and went into the countryside where we visited the Carroll County Farm Museum. We learned there that the state soil is sassafras soil and one of the top crops of the state is grain, which is used for feed grain for cattle and other livestock. We saw many interesting things on the farm tour and also learned that the state gym is Patoxent Riverstone. After leaving the farm museum, Dad took us to check out the state sport jousting at a jousting event being held nearby. Wow, what a fun sport to learn about. I wouldn't mind trying that out against my brother and sister sometime. When we left the jousting event, we stopped by a local high school and watched the high school team play the state sport lacrosse. It was a very interesting sport and all the players were full of energy and played hard. It was fun to watch them. We are all eager to learn more about the sport. Mom told us that the travel guide said that the state exercise is walking. So while we were at the high school stadium, we decided to walk a mile around their track after the lacrosse game. Mom later told us that she read that the state dance is square dancing. Our family is going to sign up for some square dancing lessons as we've learned this is the state dance of many states. Our final stop of the trip was to the Maryland National Dinosaur Park located in Laurel, Maryland. What an amazing park. We learned that the state dinosaur is the Astrodon Justoni. We also got to see the state fossil, the Ichthora garnerae, from an extinct snail or gastropod. It was very unique. We had a great time on our trip to Maryland and plan to come again one day. If you get a chance to visit Maryland, I hope you'll do so. They are a great state that has a lot to offer. Until then, goodbye. Thank you for learning with me today. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel and share us with your friends. We hope you'll join us again soon for another lesson on Wonder of Learning. Until then, bye-bye.